Welcome back. I hope you have your managerial accounting thinking hat on today. We're going to take a look at a concept called ABC or activity-based costing and it's a pretty big concept in uh, what we do in cost accounting, managerial accounting. Uh, in our previous video we went through an example looking at normal costing and we're going to kind of continue that example on into this problem and use the same data. Uh, so if you haven't seen that video yet here's a link for it and uh, you can take a look at it right now or if you kind of have a good handle on normal costing you can just kind of watch this video as a standalone. But we'll get right into it with ABC and kind of walk you through the details as to what it is ABC costing and then how it works and how to apply it. If you remember back to our discussion of normal costing, we said that, that normal costing takes direct material and direct labor and takes it directly and traces it directly to the product. Overhead, it lumps together in one account and then applies the uh, overhead to a product based on a, a cost driver, usually just one, and in a lot of times direct labor hours. And we said the shortcoming of that was the fact that if we had a manufacturing process that maybe wasn't labor intensive, it would distort our product cost because we wouldn't get a lot of overhead applied to it, even though in reality it may consume more overhead than anything else. So ABC is kind of a solution to that. In ABC costing, activity-based costing, we still take direct material and direct labor and trace them directly to the product. The difference is going to be how we handle overhead and how we treat overhead and get it applied to the product. Whereas in normal costing, we just lump overhead together. In ABC, we actually kind of divide overhead up into separate subgroups, if you want to think of them as activities. Uh, that's kind of how we handle it. We take overhead and we break it up into usually you know, three, four, five different activities. And then we allocate those to the product based on how much of the activity uh, they consume. So to kind of give you an example here, I've got it broken down. Uh, between setup cost, machine cost, and warehouse cost. Instead of gathering all our overhead and, and overhead and then allocating it, we'd actually split our overhead up in between these activity centers based on a cost driver. And the cost driver is what we would use to assign cost to these different uh, activities here. Uh, to give you an example of what a cost driver for setup cost would be, well, the number of setups that we actually have to undertake uh, when we're manufacturing our product, that would be the cost driver for the setup cost. And then we simply would divvy these uh, different buckets of um, cost here out based on the activity undertaken. And then we kind of get a product cost that way. So it's a more accurate reflection of how much overhead something is generating than just kind of blindly using one cost driver and just applying it uh, based on an arbitrary single driver. So let's try to apply ABC here. We have the same data as before, Moho Bob's Freezer Pizzeria. They're still making two kinds of pies. They're making hand tossed and pan, and they still have all the same overhead costs that they had before. But in normal costing, we lumped all those together and then divided them using one driver. Now we're going to keep them separated into different activity pools, and we're going to kind of as assign those costs according to those pools to the uh, two products that we're making. So here's the data that we would need to do that. And this data would come from a lot of different places. We probably pulled it in the controller, maybe the factory manager. We get all kinds of help trying to determine the different activities we have and how costs kind of flow through those activities. So we're going to keep all the same kind of overhead categories here, but instead of just one lump sum, like a normal costing, we're going to kind of divvy them out into different activity centers. So the driver for material handling and storage is going to be our raw material cost. When we buy raw material, that's going to cause us to have to handle it and store it. So our budget of level for that is a million dollars. The cost driver for machine setup will be production runs. Every time we have to do a production run, we have to set the machines up. So we have a thousand run budget for that. And then for the depreciation, utilities, and then kind of the other manufacturing overhead, we'll use a driver of machine hours for that. And our budget level will be 100,000 hours. So to kind of apply ABC, we need to come up with a activity pool rate. And the way we do that is we take the overhead cost for that area or any particular area, divide it by the budgeted level, and that gives us a pull rate. In our example here, we have a pull rate of 25% of materials for material handling. 
we have $50 per run for machine setup, $3 an hour for machine depreciation, $4 a machine hour for factory depreciation, and then $3 an hour for the kind of catch-all other manufacturing overhead. All the other details in our problem are the exact same as they were in our normal costing example. We're still making 30,000 hand-tossed pies, 15,000 of the pan variety, uh, same number of direct labor hours, same material cost, production runs, and machine hours we are holding constant so we can kind of compare the two methods and see what we get. Alrighty, now that we have all the data we need, I guess the next step would be figuring out what we are going to do with that data. Uh, number one wants us to determine the total overhead that should be assigned to each type of pizza. And then in number two, we're going to calculate the overhead cost per each type of pizza. So let's go ahead and try that. We have all the activity centers listed out here. And then we have our two product categories, hand tossed and pan. And we're simply going to take all those numbers from the uh, pool rate and multiply them by the level of activity that we actually incurred. So we had a 25% pool rate for material handling. We ended up using $45,000 of raw material for the hand tossed and $40,000 for the pan pizza. So I'm just going to take 25% and multiply it by the amount of raw material that was used in both of those products. Equals 25% times my $40,000. So that gives me a number to allocate to both of those for that activity center. Machine setup, the exact same idea. We ran four setups for hand tossed and six for, for pan pizza. The activity pool cost was $50 a setup. So we have 200 there and 300 there. And I'm not even going to use a formula for that. I'm just going to do that in my head. So 15 times 3 on the depreciation. We ran uh, 15 hours on that machine for the hand tossed and 25 for the pan pizza. And the rate was $3 an hour. So we'll plug that in. The factory, utilities, insurance, taxes, depreciation, and all that. We had 15 machine hours. That's our allocation base. $4 per hour. We do the math on those in our head once again. Uh, other manufacturing overhead, $250 per hour times 15 machine hours. $37.50 and 25 times $250, $62.50. So, again, the way I got those numbers, I simply went back to the pool rate. That's where the per unit or per hour amount came from. And then I multiplied that by the actual activities that happened. So let's add those up. I get a total amount of overhead to apply for both of them. Add those together. So I'm going to apply 11,592.50 to the hand toss, 10,537.50 to the pan pizza. To get a per unit amount, I'm just going to divide that total amount of applied by the number of pies I'm making. So I'm going to divide that 11,592 by 30,000. I get 39 cents a pie. Same idea here. Divide that by 15,000. So I get 39 cents and 70 cents. That is the amount of overhead that I need to apply to each of those. So let's pull it all together and compare normal and ABC. Uh, these are the amounts that we had from our calculations when we did this problem using a normal costing environment. And here's what I came up with when I did it under ABC. The hand tossed is pretty close to the same amount. The big difference is going to be on the pan. Notice we got a 37 cent swing there. And you might look at that and say, well, big deal, it's 37 cents. Who really cares? Well, remember, we're talking about manufacturing. Profit margins can be very, very slim. So if we're using our product cost as a jumping off point to determine what we're going to charge a customer, 37 cents on a 4 or $5 product is a big, big deal. So to give you an example, let's say that we kind of thought our best guess on that cost for the pan was 303. So we sold it at three and a quarter. Well, if we did that, we'd actually be making it, losing money on that. It wouldn't be a good deal at all. 
So ABC, by using multiple drivers, gives us a little bit better allocation of overhead than normal costing. And as you can see, it can make a pretty big difference, especially when we're talking about uh, labor intensive practices versus non-labor intensive uh, manufacturing practices. So I uh, hope you got something out of this and it made a little bit of sense. Uh, if you have any questions, send me an email, give me a call, and we'll walk through it. Until next time, take care.